Alright, wait, let me get behind him. In darkness. Oh, he's already aggro. Whatever, I'll just keep going then. Jesus Christ, dude. I know. It's amazing. I walk beyond the light. Welcome to the new and improved shade. From the last patch, she got a reduction in her ability cooldown from 120 seconds to 60 seconds. And that's pretty much the only major change, but this buff alone makes her so much more fun to play, and she's actually a useful career now. Before, she was pretty borderline useless because backstabbing is way too situational to make use of in a regular basis, so you only really used it on big enemies and bosses. But even then, you didn't really need a shade to help out with those guys if you just had a strong range class. And her ability, while extremely useful and powerful, it came way too slowly, so you pretty much just saved it for the oh shit situations. Now it comes back much faster, meaning you can use it for much more. And it even gives you more opportunity to backstab enemies that you need the extra damage on. Got a wandering chaos warrior catch you by surprise? No problem. Even on legend difficulty, you'll make quick work of them, usually instantly killing them if you can get a charge backstab in. To a lesser extent, if you manage to piss off a patrol, the shade is also much more effective at helping dealing with them now. Not really on legend, cause you know, you're just bone there, but on champion, you can still kinda pull it off. Just for reference, all the gameplay here that I'm showing off is from both legend and champion. I've been playing her a lot on legend difficulty after the patch, and the shade seriously feels like one of the strongest melee classes right now. In addition to being generally helpful for dealing with elites and armored units like Storm Vermin and Chaos Warriors, you're a huge damage dealer for bosses with your backstab passive. I run the level 15 talent for extra backstab damage, so I'll melt bosses when I use my ability, even on Legend. My favorite weapon is probably the Glaive. It's great for hordes, with a lot of cleave, and it's an armor piercing weapon so it works wonders for elites and specials. It does amazing damage for charged backstabs, and for those that are unaware but have noticed it in the gameplay, I usually intentionally miss my first charge attack when I use my ability for the second charge attack swing of the Glaive. Now the Glaive has a charge attack of three moves, the second being the most damaging of the bunch. The Shade also has access to the Volley Crossbow. While not quite as versatile as the Longbow, it's amazing for shitting damage on hordes and bosses when you need it to. The three burst shot is very accurate, so if you're confident in landing your headshots, it's a great weapon to have. You'll notice from the gameplay that with a concentration potion, you'll get your ability back super fast so you can change huge damage melees back and forth. I run the 30% cooldown reduction talent for my level 25, and I run to canter for my charm, which gives me a super long duration potion. You can go invisible for a very long time and chain a lot of high damaging melees. I mean, overall, Shade just feels amazing right now. Great against bosses, useful on Legend because of the high amount of random elites, Storm Vermin, and Chaos Warriors that can spawn. And you can even use your ability in a defensive manner by reviving teammates in stealth, or just running away when shit goes south. If you haven't played her much because you didn't like her before and she felt weak, well, definitely give Shade a go now. It takes a bit to get used to because you aren't realistically backstabbing all the time, and you'll have to learn how to play around the range meta right now. But she's definitely a useful career, and one that I see myself using a lot more, as long as they plan on keeping the changes to her.